What's up guys, David Matz here, and I am here today to tell you how I went from this, an idea, to this in only three days. Woo, dog it. Using a little bit of this. Check it out. I have always been fascinated with monocycles and have always wanted to build one. And while I was working on Wonder Woman 2, one of the other stunt people talked me into drawing out my idea, getting it ready to be able to be built. So this is the humble beginning, and I wanted to try to break the world record on a monocycle. So I had a deadline, an idea, but not enough motivation to make it happen. Then entered this young man. Blake Hicks, one of the most positive people I've ever met in my life, an amazing BMX artist that also deals with LEDs. He told me there's no way that you're gonna be able to do this in only three days. In three days, that monocycle's not getting done. There's no way you're gonna do that. Pack for burn, pack for burn. It's in piece, you don't even have all the pieces for it. How? No, and you gotta pack, you gotta pack your trailer, you gotta pack your living situation, you're not gonna get it done. Sorry, it's three days, there's no way. I had to prove him wrong. So, game on. I had my motivation, had my idea, and here's the video. We got our tire patches, we got the fix flat. Yep, and we are off. Hopefully. This is a sear wheel. It's an acrobatic apparatus that I use to make my living. One of my roommates had this one laying around, and I traded him for some vape supplies. So, hooray, Barter Town. You know what? Better than me. <laughs> so, we lost the washer. I ground out a very, very fancy one. You can tell how round it is. Uh, my precision engineering for this world record attempt. But it works. This attempt is getting scarier and scarier every day. <laughs> And we're back, day two of working on the monocycle. It is way too hot, because we're in Las Vegas. It's like 110, uh, what's that in Celsius for those? Oh, hot. <sighs> and we're back. We want to make a testing to see if uh, things melt. So we're almost doubling the voltage. We got our... A trusty razor blade works perfectly to fit right into there. Boom. So let's uh so we gotta break it in half because we only have one. Yeah. Every tool is a hammer fits. <laughs> we'll have a link to uh, Adam Savage's book, uh, Every Tool is a Hammer. Super helpful when making Wow! Oh wow, that snapped so quickly. So I missed that, it. That's really brittle. Okay, good to know. I thought it was gonna bend. Look at that though. So you did it once. It just snapped. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well now we have our things, and we're gonna go up to the back cave. And uh, I'm gonna go dull these. Solder some stuff on. The exciting part about this is gonna be if we make an explosion. Uh, this controller is meant only for a thousand watts and 36 volts, which I feel like this battery can put out a lot more than that. Yep. <laughs> After day two, we were feeling pretty good about ourselves. We had everything rolling. We were ready to throw the gears on, but we had a slight hiccup. See this gear right here? It did not match up. I ordered them from two different places and the teeth were slightly different. So unfortunately, there was no way we were gonna be able to get this to run without ordering more parts. And we hit a dead end. Just about when we had lost all hope, we thought about it and we were like, do we really want this guy to be right? No way, we are gonna figure this out. So we scoured every avenue we could think of. Craigslist, OfferUp, went to every go-kart store in the valley and when all hope was lost, we found one last place that had a matching gear. So we attached this gear on, added three different tabs, if you can see them right there, and we were off to the races. Now all we had to do was figure out how to ride this thing. Oh, 
How do you feel, man? I feel fantastic. What do you have to say to play? Terrified. So riding this thing was a lot harder than I thought it would be. We only had a couple hours of time before I had to pack up everything to go to Burning Man, so we were barely, barely able to figure it out, barely able to take our feet up. It worked, I was barely able to ride, and I was able to prove this guy wrong. So the motivation worked out. I hope you enjoyed the motivation and the build process. I'm gonna be making a lot more monocycle videos in the future. My next monocycle video should be posted here within the next couple weeks. It's a pedal monocycle. It's the world's first production monocycle. We learned to ride it with the fabulous duck run of Kirk McGurk. And after that, we're gonna be attaching a motor to it to see how fast we can get this thing to go. If you have any questions about this build or wanna participate in any of the future builds, Post in the comments, like and subscribe for more cool monocycle content as well as inspirational videos. And in the meantime, go out there and create art and stop chasing your dreams and start living them. The whole thing flipped over, that was nuts.